Bradley Manning, Julian Assange, and now Edward Snowden, all modern-day whistleblowers who are surrounded by a shroud of controversy in the United States. But as CCTV's Sweeling Non found out, whistleblower protection laws in the United States are still considered among the best in the world. And the United States is the only country that has laws that encourage whistleblowers to come forward with a promise of substantial monetary rewards. Eleven years of unemployment, the loss of his home and his family. This is the price Blair Hamrick has paid being a whistleblower. But now he is rebuilding his life. I'm very fortunate and very blessed that, that uh, there was divine intervention in my case and it ended up with a favorable outcome. Last year, his case against GlaxoSmithKline, or GSK, a British multinational pharmaceutical and healthcare company, turned out to be the biggest healthcare fraud settlement in United States history, a fine of $3 billion. Do it because it's the right thing to do. Don't do it because you think you're going to get a big payday at the end, because that's, that, is not, that is not the typical ending. The concurrent resolution is agreed to. Under current U.S. laws, Hamrick and another former colleague share a reward of 15 to 25 percent of the total fine. The United States has four federal laws promising rewards to whistleblowers. These four laws encompass the entire federal public sector and the multi-trillion dollar securities and commodities markets. Opponents of such laws say some of the whistleblowers are greedy. But supporters argue that whistleblowing is more effective than any of the regulatory authorities. In 2012 alone, information disclosed by whistleblowers resulted in corporations being fined more than $3.3 billion in the United States, with whistleblowers pocketing $439 million in rewards. Stephen Cohn is an expert in American whistleblower protection laws and has defended some of the country's most high-profile whistleblowers. He says despite the rewards seeming so attractive, you must be aware of the potential consequences. It can cost someone their career. People could end up in jail. So the risks, what's at stake, is major. So if you're going to blow the whistle and you challenge those type of authorities, there's going to be pushback. There's going to be retaliation. Cohn says the United States is tightening bribery regulations against multinational companies. In the United States, we passed a whistleblower protection under the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. So what that means is if someone pays a bribe to a foreign official to get a business advantage, they're guilty of that law. Cohn added that whistleblowers in these cases are entitled to a reward of 10 to 15 percent of the total fine, regardless of their citizenship. Whistleblower protection laws are not the norm in most of the world. According to a report released in April by the Government Accountability Project, currently only six European countries have dedicated whistleblower legislation. Whistleblowing is also commonplace in Asia-Pacific regions, where most of the countries have anonymous reporting hotlines and procedures in place. In China, for example, local legal authorities and law enforcement agencies have their own budgets for rewarding whistleblowers. In 2010, the National People's Congress amended the national law to require authorities to protect the identity of informants. And in April 2013, United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon announced that there will be a review of international whistleblower protections at the UN due to complaints about how it implemented these regulations. For Blair Hamrick, the difficulties of the last 11 years have not made him regret following his conscience. I don't have any regrets. You know, in order to really appreciate the good things in life, you have to go through the bad things in life. Sui Lingnan, CCTV, Washington.